Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can send your own input to a client-side document generation. So previously we've used the Data Raptor extract, but in this example I'm going to show you how you can use your own. So I've got a really simple document that I've created here. We're going to capture the case number, case subject, description. So this is a description from the Omniscript. And then we're also going to present the contact name and the contact title. Now I've actually already gone ahead and created a document template for that. So I've called it client side here and the document has already been uploaded. But then what you'll see on the side here is that I've only listed a data app to transform or data mapper these days. Um, there's no extract there. So I haven't actually created it yet. So it's all blank. Um, and if we look at the output. Um, and I'm going to have my own get as well. So this is something that I'm going to use to then pass into the transform, but I'm going to do that outside of the document template. Um, just to show you as well, I'm also going to include this other get data mapper, which is called dr get delegate ID. And we're going to query the contact object. And I've got a few contact records there where I've got a delegate checkbox and that's going to enter true. And if I go into my preview, um, you can see I was playing around with it before. There's no input, so if I click on execute, um, it'll show you all of the three contacts that have that delegate flag set to true. Now coming into Omniscript, this is just a clone of the client side document generation from static resources. And all I've done is I've added in a description field with the name equals description. And I've got my delegate input here. So this is just a type of head block. I've got my delegate name input. The type of head key is name. And um, I'm rushing through this. Hopefully you've already done something like this before. Essentially in this get director, the output is name and ID. But so that we're using name in this case. Uh, we'll go back here. And then the data raptor is that get delegate uh, ID one there. And all I've done, uh, let me have a look. I've created it as a lookup. Where is it? There you go, in lookup mode. So let's preview that just to show you how it works. So uh, we've got the standard things that come with the template. We've got just some free text for description. And then for delegate, we can then select a delegate there. So that's using that data rapture that I just showed you before. In the transform, we're getting case number and then we'll go to case number. So I'll just um, speed up the video and do all of these quickly. Okay, so there's the four there. So the export is, um, or the extracts exporting those four and then the transform's got those four. But we've got one more field and that is description. So if we come into our, uh, our um, Omniscript here, if we come into enter object, uh, we'll see that we should have the description there somewhere. So if I just put something in description, um, you can see it's under enter object and then description. So enter object is the node name and then description is the actual um, item there. So let's go back into our transform and we'll go into object description and then description goes in there. All right, so if we get our case ID, I just want that on my clipboard and now we'll come into our Omniscript again and we're in design mode. So what we have so far is into object and then all of the regular steps and the LWC um, over here to generate the document. What we need to do now is put in the data raptor extract that we just created. So we'll just come into extract and we'll pop it just there and we'll get the name. So I've called it get client side. Okay, we need some data sources. So our filter value will be case ID. And I'll just put something in there for now. And then we've also got contact ID that we need to send. All right, so the contact ID, 
should be coming from this delegate name input. So let's go back in here and we'll go delegate name input dash block and it should be ID. And then our case ID should be object ID from what we're entering there. So let's activate that and then preview. We'll put in our object ID over there. Template type is word. We'll just put in a description. Select a delegate. Click next. And we've got our client side token template to select. Now this is really important. Over here it says use template VR extract. So if we have this as yes, that's what we'll use then what's provided in the document template. So we are going to say no because we want to use the values that we've got here. And it's really important that the data, um, the transform has the same fields that we are sending through. So for example, um, over here, we, we've already seen our transform, um, but in here we've got the different things that we're sending through. So for example, um, we have our case subject, our case number, our contact title, and then description is up here under enter object and then description. Um, let me just double check uh, that I've got enter object. Yes, enter objects over there. So um, if we click on next now, I'm going to cross our fingers and hope that this works. Okay. So we can see that that's come through. So we've got our preview, we can see we've got our case number, we've got our case subject and test. That's what we provided directly from that Omniscript. And just to prove that if I go back, we'll keep going back. And this time I'm just gonna put something else in there. And we're gonna change this from Sean to Edward. Oops. Remember, no. And that's the text there that I provided. So I guess the important thing to know about sending through tokens or input on a client side document generation is that in your document template, you don't need to provide an extract. In your uh, Omniscript, that one field or that one page before needs to be no. And then you need to provide all of the fields, the, the relevant fields in the data JSON that the transform can then use for mapping.